Welcome to the Dave Trumbo Show. I'm Joe Wamba. Join now with Dave Trumbo, head coach of the beach volleyball team. Coach, you guys travel down to UNC Wilmington, play some very tough teams, all as a precursor for the Fiesta on Siesta Key. So just talk a little bit about how those matches went for you. Well, we play in all Division I. Uh, our first match was against College of Charleston, who are getting votes for the top 15 in the country. Uh, and it just helps you learn so much mm -hmm. about yourselves. And it, you know, the same kind of shots, to be truthful, that, that would drop against maybe a D2 or D3 team, they don't drop against a D1 right. team. They are, those kids are pretty athletic, and they're big. Yeah. Uh, so it, it, the speed of the game is a little bit different. I thought our kids really did well. Sammy uh, Perillo, Perillo and uh, Kristen Brooks at number ones. Actually, mm -hmm. they won a set. They played a really, really great set and, and won, won one. We had some other close ones. But uh, College of Charleston was pretty good. When you're, you know, a six foot four blocker, mm -hmm. you know, it's yeah. like she shades a lot more court right. <laughs> than yeah. if she was 5'10. A larger net front presence so, there for so. sure. So, and then we played Coastal Carolina in the afternoon. Uh, that was uh, a lot closer. You know, mm -hmm. uh, our, uh, at number twos, it, it, uh, Lauren Weaver, Katie Leffridge won their pairs. So history made there. Hi history made because you know, we've, we've played some Division I club teams mm -hmm. that are very very good but we've never beaten a pair in division one that was our ncaa yeah. team yeah. and uh katie and lauren being able to do that and then uh, at number three is grace coleman and jan christensen they lost 15 12 in the third so they got close another and, close one yes and megan wren and and darian hillman at fours they got close they lost 21 18 21 19 so and, and everybody else was in the high teens mm -hmm. you know so it was competitive uh uh, shows you we're on the right track. Uh, we can compete with you know D1 teams. Uh, the next day we play UNC Wilmington, um, who are very good also. Um, Jang uh, Christensen and Grace Coleman at number threes again got close 22 20 mm -hmm. in one of the sets. Uh, but uh, n we'll move on this weekend to the Fiesta on the Siesta Key uh, on the Gulf Coast of Florida for the Small College National Championship. Let's talk a little bit about that trip that you guys are going to make down there. It's going to be an awfully exciting match, a little bit different than what you've been doing this year you're going to be playing three matches in one day on saturday how is the season that you've been having so far prepare you for this well last weekend the great competition we're not going to see d1 teams it's all d2 and d3 uh it's there's 10 teams and it's pool play so there's five teams in our pool and we'll play three of those four teams mm -hmm. on saturday uh Two of them, while well, we're playing a team from San Diego uh, who has been playing beach for five years. So that'll be pretty competitive. Uh, and we're, we're also playing um, Warner, who mm -hmm. we did beat 4-1, to one, but we're also playing Eckert, who we lost to 4-1. to one. Right. Uh, All those matches close. The 4-1 to Warner sounds like we killed him. Well, we really didn't. It was very mm -hmm. close. And the 4-1 to Eckert that we lost seems like that would not would have been. But it yeah. really isn't. A couple points either way, and we could have won 3-2. Right. Uh, and then the then so that's three matches in the Florida Sun. Mm -hmm. uh, definitely going to be warmer. The heat yep. was an issue, not an issue. It just it's when you're playing D1 teams, the the rallies are longer. You have to work really hard even for points. There's not as many mistakes made. The mm -hmm. rallies aren't short. Uh, down in Florida, uh, I'm not sure what the weather's going to be like. And from what I understand, it changes. <laughs> this is like up here, change every yeah. hour. But uh, so we'll play three matches on that Saturday, and then early Sunday morning we'll play the fourth match of pool play. That will seed us for a single elimination tournament. So it's very possible we could play on Sunday. If you count the pool play game in the morning, if we get to the finals, three more matches. That could be four on Sunday. So they're going to be tuckered. <laughs> yeah, I imagine they are, especially if a lot of the matches go to you know the three sets yes. or uh, hopefully you can get them taken care of in two. Is that the key to try to get, a, get out in front early or just – Get the W if you can. Well, you always want to get the W, but if you can do it in two, but it's just, it's very difficult because when the other teams their backs against mm -hmm. the wall, and it's tough unless you are significantly better than the other team, it's tough to win in two. Mm -hmm. uh, so you know you want to get done in two, especially when you know you have so many matches coming. But you ultimately, you want to get the W. There's a little bit more riding on these, I uh -huh. think, because uh, there is not a team there that oh my gosh, mm -hmm. I mean things happen and we could win. Yeah, you know yeah. that, which is does seem a little unbelievable. All these Florida schools and <laughs> California schools, and here we are from Baltimore, and 
we're going to compete. Mm-hmm. You know, we're you know we expect to win matches. Mm-hmm. Uh, another person team our pool I didn't mention is Huntington, which we we beat. They're from Alabama, mm-hmm. uh, so we've got a good shot. Yeah, I would definitely believe that you guys have very strong possibilities. And you talk about these sets, like when somebody gets backed into a corner. You've seen it even when the teams are when you're practicing, our girls are playing against each other. They love each other, and you know they're rooting for each other, but. They compete, oh, and yes. they'll go into 18, 19 scores on the third set. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. You, you, yeah, there's just some kind of mentality that you just don't give up. Mm-hmm. You know, you, it's nineteen fifteen or nineteen sixteen in a game that's 21, and you, you see kids come back because mm-hmm. they know their back's right up against the wall, and they just can't let that ball drop and that little extra effort to get the ball mm-hmm. up when, you know, the game's depending upon it. Well, Coach, we wish you the best of luck this weekend. And uh, those games will be broadcasted. The yes. links are on our website. Yes. yes. So we're looking forward to watching some yeah. uh, beach volleyball. We don't get to watch that too much. Right. And they, I think the streaming's not going to start till 1130. Our first okay. match is at 9. Our second match is at 12. That one should be streamed. Okay. Now, I think it's an experiment. They have not done it much. But I think that our game at 12 and our game at 330 will be, will be streamed. Uh, so... We'll see. Well, I definitely attest to experimenting with broadcasting beach right. volleyball. Yes. Last year uh, was the first time we had a chance to do it. Yeah, yeah we did and it. We, we, we were, were able to do it. Yes. We were able to do it. So I definitely know their struggles. Mm-hmm. So, um, But, Coach, all the same, good luck and uh, safe travels down south. Thanks, Joe. He's Dave Trumbo. I'm Joe Wamba, and this has been the Dave Trumbo Show.